We use the simulations in a couple of different places, first in the undergraduates and also with the postgraduates. Um, and with the undergraduates, it is very much um, just understanding how organizations work. But um, with the postgraduates, using the same type of simulation, um, it's much more about how management actually works and making decisions, and not just the decisions, but what are the implications of those decisions. The main benefits of using a simulation as a learning tool is that it is, um, you put students in a work type situation, but not actually in work. Because work, um, in, in real work, you are constrained by the organisation, whereas the students um, have an opportunity to access a whole load of different bits of information within the simulation and put them together in a new and exciting way. You can see students um, firstly doing teamwork um, and you can also begin to see the students develop the skills in their many different areas. I mean to be a manager um, there's a lot of conflicting values that you have as a manager. You've got to be in control, you've got to be flexible, etc. You can start to see the students' strengths coming out using the simulation uh, because they're working in groups and so some are uh, better at the control parts and others are better at the, uh, the more flexible parts, internal, external, etc. So you can really see students start to develop their areas of skill. We use a variety of assessments in the business simulations. Um, I think what you're trying to do um, when you're assessing is really get a holistic view of um, an organisation and a holistic view of a problem. Rather than students saying, OK, I'm uh, just studying finance today and I can forget about that, you've got to be able to have an assessment that will bring all of the aspects together. So. Um, at the beginning, um, with most of the simulations, they do some type of a scoping study, so just really start to examine the problem. And then, uh, by the time they travel through the whole simulation, they uh, then move to producing an actual uh, business um, um, analysis. And um, so we actually produce an analysis, as I say, of the business, but then they also do a presentation to industry about their own business, which they have developed through the simulation. Um, with the postgraduate, obviously we're looking for more uh, analysis and synthesis of the problem, whereas at undergraduate level, I think we, uh, we're looking at, do you actually understand what the problem is um, in the first place, and, and how do the numbers start to fit together? Um, you would hope that at postgraduate level, the students have got all of the information before they do a simulation, whereas, um, so they're pulling it together um, in a new and a different way. But I think at undergraduate level, they're still learning. They're still learning about finance. They're still learning about marketing or whatever. So, um, and they're unsure of what the theory is. Whereas you would hope uh, with postgraduate level, they've already got the theory and it's how do they weave that theory into the practice and that's really what we're looking for in the assessment.